Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. I've got a quick tip for you for Photo Raw about using the blend modes with filters, not with layers, but with filters. If you're not familiar with what a blend mode is, yeah, in brief, it changes the way a filter or a layer interacts with what's beneath it. There's a pixel per pixel comparison done, and then the different modes uh, change the way that the filter or layer interacts with what's already on your canvas. Now, uh, we use the blend modes in layering reasonably often to blend textures, to uh, you know create silhouettes, or to make brighter objects disappear or darker objects appear, things like that. But with filters, less so. And uh, some of that is the nature of um, it's very difficult to predict how it's going to look. And that's just the nature of it's a pixel by pixel comparison. It's unique to every photo. But uh, what I've been playing around with has been with uh, photo filters. So I'm going to add a photo filter here and you're kind of doing a tinting on the photo. On this one, let me just choose, uh, let's just um, use the built-in 85 here. Now this is the normal tinting or blend mode. And so the entire scene gets this, you know, kind of, you know, orange cast to a little bit warmer. That's actually not, not that bad. But if we open up into the gear menu and we have the blend mode that we can change. And you can hover over these things. And as I do, we'll start to see differences in the scene. And this is the blend mode, that pixel comparison saying, let me take this orange basically color and then blend it differently. We get down to the bottom here, we have hue or color. Those start to make some nice, interesting tints with a solid photo filter. And I kind of like how color is warming up more of the brighter areas. I'll choose that and then maybe dial back the opacity some to give it a, uh, a very unique kind of feel, right? This is before that tint and this is after. So it's a, uh, it's a subtle amount of warmth. It's not as strong as a, as a full blown tint. I didn't have to do masking per se, but it's something that's worthwhile to look at if, especially if you're trying to create a look that would involve kind of adding a color cast or tinting a photo in some way, check out the blend mode for a photo filter and see if it'll work for your image. That's all I've got for today. You got other questions about photography? Always like to hear from you. You can contact me through my website, leave comments in the video below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport and happy shooting.